The Carby CNC milling machine is a subtractive manufacturing device which cuts away at your material layer by layer to reveal your design. There are several ways to produce designs for creation on the Carby. Here we will discuss easel, which is the quickest and easiest way to produce designs. While in the video linked below, we discuss Fusion 360, which can be used to create much more detailed designs. In both cases, the process begins with easel, so let's start there. Start by selecting Carvi as your machine. It will be apparent that this was successful when the red area indicating the smart clamp appears. Enter the type and dimension of your material by clicking on the input box at the top right hand corner. If your material does not appear, just select a similar material. Now, select the drill bit that you plan to use. You may also wish to change either the feed rate, which is the speed the bit travels in the horizontal plane, the plunge rate, which is the speed the bit moves down into the material, or the depth per pass, which is the depth the bit is lowered between each pass or layer. Unless you have some very particular design in mind, or a material where you know these values should be changed, the defaults are usually good. You can also easily switch between millimeters and inches using the toggle on the bottom left corner. There are many ways to create images in Easel. One could import SVG files created in a software like Inkscape, or G-Code from a software like Fusion 360, or indeed an image. It is even possible to import images directly from the internet. Links ending in .jpg or .png are most likely to work. The depth of the cut is set by the small slider on the side, and once you are happy, you can click Simulate and get an approximation for the cutting time and for how the finished product will look. Alternatively, you can create your own designs using the shapes built into Easel. Using the toolbar to the right, you can set the shape's location, size, and you can choose to cut out the whole shape or just the outline. If you do cut all the way through the material, you may wish to use tabs, which hold the material in place while it is being cut out, and which can easily be removed later. You can even add text in this way. When you have higher detailed parts, some details are not accessible by the large drill bits, and you may wish to add a second smaller drill bit. Now your design has two passes, a roughing pass to remove most of the material, and a detailed pass to remove the smaller parts. Now you can move on to the Carby video linked in the description and make your design a reality.